So we've decided to play this part right here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 13 Express. In today's episode, we entered saying it would be nice to now address the structure of individual note sounds as well as the overall compositional structure arrangement of notes. We've done this using instrument patches. We did some review of what's called the attack, sustain, delay, release envelope, like a piano has a fast attack. Um, and if you hold the pedal down, a long sustain, and then if you let up on the pedal, a quick decay and release. So uh, that all has to do with timbre, which is like color and flavor. Um, so we're going to start experimenting with that. But in the meantime, we're going to work with what we've got. Work with what we've got. So what we had originally was a set of 44 standalone phrases that sounded like this. And we have compressed them so that we have a quarter note like this and speeded it up. And we've also expanded them so that we have things that sound like this. That was the same phrase expressed in three different speeds. And the difference here is in the expanded, because we expanded the two beats per bar into three total beats, we could take the original cadence, which sounded like this. Which you can tell us speed it up. And now we turned it into its, its component notes. And we tend to play that with the backbone at the same time. So we did all that. Now in completing these three different versions of the very same piece, the two, four, and then the compressed, and then the expanded, uh, for the compressed, we did something new as well. We said, now that we have speeded it up, the backbone, which sounds like uh, this, the fast backbone, constitutes a set of, could be considered to be a chord, or what we call passing chords, like this chord. So we went ahead and turned that into a chord here. So now it's not just um, the chords that go with that backbone sound like this. And they accompany the chord, I mean, the, uh, the backbone very nicely. So we generated all that. And we also speeded this up. Then, for grins, we went into Reaper and we said, what would it be like to overlay these things? So we took the original, which was up here, and was 174 seconds long. And then we took the, uh, the compressed, which was actually uh, 46, and we stretched it with our little stretchy fist here to double it. And then we took our um, this thing, which is the expanded, and we left it at 109. And then we just kind of found a place where they would kind of all end at the same time, sort of automatically together. And what we found, interestingly enough, was that if you... If you just, you know, sell the original line as it was, it sounds like this. Which is the backbone only. And then if you do the, uh, what we call the stretched, which has uh, arpeggios, which is quite pretty. Then, if we took the compressed, which we have sort of stretched, we get this. Uh, 
And the reason it sounds so funky is because we've stretched it to twice as long as it was meant to be, so the actual waveform of the instruments has been stretched way out. We also added some filters, so we filtered this to kind of be low, and we filtered this to be band, and this to be high, and so we kind of get all together this kind of sound. So we had fun with that. So what we're going to do to take us home is we'll play for you the compressed version, which is compressed now down to all of 46 seconds, and here we go. So what we like about this is, as you can tell, we've started to take out some of the pauses. We're pushing some of the original 44 pieces together into longer pieces. And by speeding it up this way and hearing it more quickly, we can hear natural new groupings. And each of these new groupings have their own cadences, like this is a driftance, and that's a half statens, and so forth. Whereas the original cadences had their own uh, energy stories down here. So we're kind of overlaying half statens coming to rest over a continuing ambivalence ANSI energy, uh, which you can hear if we let the whole thing rip. So these pieces are being assembled into slightly longer pieces, and then we're going to continue to put it into an overall structure. Which leads us to our ideas for next time, which is our to um, keep working with the 44 phrase composition, um, change uh, buffer bars into multi -me Actually, what we mean by that is we change pauses. The moment we're using one second pauses to separate phrases. And we need to turn those into actual multi-beat measures because when you compress and expand and double the tempo, the one second always is one second, and it's throwing, it's throwing it off. We could really feel it in here when we tried to, we were trying to kind of, we'll show you what we're trying to do. We're, we're trying to take this thing, and we're trying to kind of make it fit so that those little pulse notes overlaid these pulse notes. Well, we didn't quite get that far, but. We, we we got the idea. Um, there are some phrases that are definitely hook, dun 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 phrases. Um, continue to consolidate. Continue to consolidate sh phrases. And then we still have our scale ornaments to work with. And then we also keep on exploring our instrument comparison. Shout outs to Real Alien Space Bats and Fabulous Light Productions. Fabulous came back again. Thank you. And we had a really brilliant three-way dialogue going there. So we always appreciate that. It makes things go faster. Tune in next time to see what happens next. In the meantime, do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.